Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's give everybody a little time to get in here. Uh. What's up, everybody? Look at me. I'm damn near on time. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Y'all. What's up, y'all? I love that y'all are up so early with me, y'all. <clears throat> y'all, my sinuses are kicking my butt this morning, man. They got me coughing and sniffing and sneezing. Sheesh. I'm out here bad this morning, man. Y'all, I'm going to let a, a few more people get in here. Because y'all going to be mad at me this morning, man. I just want to offer y'all a sincere, a sincere apology. A sincere apology, y'all. As your fearless shift leader, I can admit when I do things wrong, when I mess up. And today is one of those days that I must come to you all, standing in the pulpit to apologize to my congregation. I know I said I was gonna do a spirit box session this morning. I know I said it. Let me tell y'all what happened, y'all. I'm not gonna blame nobody. I'm not gonna point no fingers at nobody. None of that. All I'm gonna say is, I packed up all of my ghost hunting equipment and I put it in a bag. Now, why that bag is not in the car no more, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't blaming Stacy. <laughs> I ain't gonna say Stacy's name. <laughs> but I'm just gonna say, my spirit box, my speaker, none of that was in my bag, y'all. <laughs> that I specifically packed before I left Atlanta. Now, could I have not put it in the house or put it in the car? That's a possibility. Now, do I vividly remember packing said bag and put it in the back seat? Yes. <laughs> <coughs> But I'm not going to blame my wife. I'm not going to blame my wife, y'all. I'm not going to say it was her fault. I'm not going to say Stacy took my ghost hunting bag out the car and left it in the house on purpose. <laughs> we not going to put that on her this morning. But just know, Stacy, if you watching this live, everybody giving you the side eye right now. Everybody giving Stacy the side eye. Because she playing with us, y'all. <laughs> Again, I'm not going to say she took it out the car. But I am going to say I know I packed my bag. <laughs> so, y'all, I'm not one to be a liar. <laughs> and I told y'all we was going to do a live this morning. So even if I ain't got my spirit box, y'all, we're going to do a live. So we're going to walk around. We're going to do a morning stroll around the other part of the cemetery that we didn't look at yesterday. <coughs> but excuse me, y'all, man. My sinus and allergies are kicking my butt this morning. Eey. So yeah, yeah, shift happens, y'all. Shift happens, especially when you got a wife. <laughs> they make shift happen. <laughs> Wives make shifts happen. <laughs> and that's shift with an F. Now, we're not gonna get lost today, y'all. But we are going to go in the opposite direction of where we went yesterday. So we're going to get a little morning stroll, y'all. Ain't nobody out here. It's early. And I just kind of want to walk maybe in the direction that we didn't walk yesterday. Oh, wow. These are cool. I wonder what that sign means.
this is all the Weaver family. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten members of the Weaver Weaver family. That's really cool. You got Thomas, Martha, Richard, Thomas, Mary, Dempsey, Anna, William, and Irene. Celtic crosses. Got you, got you, got you. That's cool, man. Everybody was born in the 1800s. Everybody was born between 1850 and 1885. That's really cool. I've never seen 10 family members lined up like this. That's cool. That's cool. Let's see what we missed yesterday by walking the other way. For everybody that's just tuning in, Stacy stole my iPad. Stacy stole my spirit box and left it in Atlanta. That's the story we rocking with, y'all. Stacy stole my spirit box and left it in Atlanta. So now we out here, y'all. We gotta do another walk this morning. So y'all go, y'all go uh tell Stacy we know the truth. Y'all let Stacy know we know the truth. Excuse me, y'all. I'm going to be coughing a little bit. I got to get some medicine. My sinuses are kicking my butt. Love, love, love. This is the Love family. David C. Love. Born in 1827. Passed away in 1876. And Jane Love. 1834 to 1883. And she was like 50. 49. The Love Family. I like how in this cemetery, all the family members' resting spaces are like next to each other like this. <coughs> like in a straight line. Oh, wow. Let's go over here. We didn't go over here yesterday. Somebody said they used the ghost box in Martha and Rosemary showed up. They don't know if it's the same Rosemary. That's interesting. Like, why does Rosemary keep popping up on all these different spirit boxes? Okay. Who is this over here? This is like a Confederate something. Let's go see. Who is this? Adolphus Hyman. 1809 to 1862. A Prussian immigrant architect and Confederate. This is Colonel. He was buried in Mississippi, but they brought his his remains here, and this is his memorial. Y'all, I'm again, again. I'm not blaming Stacy, and I'm not saying Stacy took my equipment out the car. I'm just saying. It ain't in the car no more. <laughs> That's all. That's all I'm saying, y'all. That's all I'm saying. Wow. It's him sitting on the top of his... We thought Buddy in Atlanta that sits on top of his grave had a monument that was cool. This man got a life-size statue of himself standing on top of his. This is a Confederate memorial. Oh, Don, I'm positive it's not in the hotel room, Don. I'm 100% positive. I'm 100% positive. But that's okay. That's all right, y'all. I go back home tomorrow. And don't y'all worry. We gonna get back to, we gonna get back to shifting tomorrow. We ain't waiting till Monday. I don't like, I don't like not being able to shift. I start getting withdrawals. Oh, wow. This is cool. So we just gonna have to do a little exploration today. But don't worry. Tomorrow, tomorrow evening, we're going to do a live spirit box. I get back to Atlanta tomorrow evening. So I'm going to make it up to y'all for sure. So y'all just bear with me today. Today and yesterday is just a little walkthrough. 
But I promise y'all, tomorrow evening we're going to go live and I'm going to do some spirit boxing. For sure tomorrow. I ain't even going to let y'all, I ain't going to, listen to me. I ain't going to let y'all down. And I ain't going to let Stacy get in between what we love. You hear me? No, I'm just playing. But seriously, y'all, tomorrow. I'm going to do some spirit boxing tomorrow. I'm going to be sure. And we boxing all week, baby. We spirit boxing all week. <coughs> uh, my sinuses. Oh, wow. This is cool. Now, look. Look at these sphinxes, this is, compared to the ones we saw yesterday. These don't give off the uh, the same vibe that the one yesterday did in front of the pyramid. Even the knuckles are different. Remember, we, we paid attention yesterday to the knuckles of the one over there? These don't seem as... I don't know. I don't know. The ones over there, the ones by the pyramid... Them seem like them some rock wallows or some pit bulls. These, these seem like some little French bulldogs. Like that's, I'm, I'm trying to describe the energy. Like these don't seem or feel any type of way. But the one by that pyramid, they seem like they on attack mode. Right, yeah, not as imposing, exactly. And it's like they're protecting this angel. The Nicholson family. He passed away at 65 on November 27, 19, or excuse me, 1882. Now, nah, Brandy, don't clock in tomorrow morning. It ain't gonna be tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's gonna be tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening. We gonna get the shift in tomorrow evening, y'all. Probably like around seven. I'm gonna go somewhere in Atlanta, and I'm gonna do a spirit box session for sure. Cause we gotta, we gotta, I gotta make it up to y'all, man. I feel like I've been letting y'all down. I feel like I've been letting y'all down, y'all. Feel like we've been letting the spirits down. We ain't been having conversation. We just been walking through their house. This is cool. This is like a cross sculpted into the shape of like wood with vines on it what y'all say i need to get mushrooms and what cot liver oil what y'all say <laughs> y'all know i trust y'all before i trust anybody else so if y'all tell me what i need to take to get this little cough and out it just started literally like three hours ago I woke up coughing. My nose was stopped up. Whew. I don't know what it is, y'all. Oh, I wonder if these are two children. I know Nancy. I was too, Nancy. I wanted to talk to him too, Nancy. But I slipped up. I slipped up, y'all. That's my fault. But look, that's why I always keep it real with y'all, man. This ain't no professional TV show. Y'all, this dealing with his iPhone, man. Play a slip up. <laughs> Play a slip up too, baby. <laughs> it's okay, man. I messed up, y'all. But seriously, I promise y'all, I packed my bag, y'all. I must have just left it at the house. I must have just grabbed the wrong one. That's my fault. That's my fault, y'all. I'm not gonna blame Stacy, even though I want to. Did they put vodka on this? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is Charles Nelson. He passed away in 1891. And someone has left two bottles of Tennessee whiskey and two shot glasses. That's cool. Nah, it, they say it's blurry. 
Y'all, it must be, hold on, give me a second. Let me try to clean the lens. It might just be the signal out here, y'all. Somebody was like, you should use your real camera. Y'all, it don't be the camera, man. You still got to have the internet to go live on YouTube. You be out here. Yeah, it's the signal, y'all. We out here in the middle of the cemetery. Hold on, let me try to clean the lens again, y'all. But yeah, it don't really matter what camera I have because you got to have the internet connection to go live on YouTube. And if the internet out here is shoddy, it don't matter if I got a camera. Because if I bring my real camera, then I got to... If I bring my real camera, then I got to bring my computer to connect to the internet <laughs> to get on to YouTube. <laughs> and that's just way more equipment. So the phone was shoots in 4K. It's easier. But, you know, you be out here in these far cemeteries, you're not going to get signals like that, y'all. Ain't nothing I can do about that. I got the best Wi-Fi I can I can afford right now, guys. <laughs> Let's look in here. I don't know why it's not why it's blurry. It gotta be the darn internet connection. Hold on, can y'all look look in there? I just want to see if you can see in there. Oh wow, this is the Thomas family. It looks like maybe six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people are resting in there. I don't know, that's interesting. Okay. Again, y'all, I apologize if it's blurry. I can't do... I, yeah, man, it's just a signal out here. It's just a signal out here. Oh, some people saying it's not blurry for them. Some saying it is. If it is, y'all, I apologize, y'all. I don't know why. Okay. We didn't walk over here yesterday. Somebody said I need glasses. It's clear to me. <laughs> That's funny. Man, this cemetery literally goes on for like acres and acres. <coughs> here, let's walk over here. I don't know. Something over here caught my attention. Somebody said it's crystal clear. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, y'all, it be just the internet connection and a lot of these cemeteries be real shoddy so that's what i'm trying to figure out but y'all <laughs> going live ain't easy but we gotta do it we gotta do it i don't know the morning energy in cemeteries is a lot different than like evening Look how beautiful this is. This is the Webb Family Memorial. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I don't know, this cemetery, I promise y'all, out of all the cemeteries I've ever been to, it's like this, this one has the most character. It's just so, so many different types of headstones. Ah, Nancy, you was 90. Nancy almost touched 100. Nancy almost touched 100. I don't know, I get excited every time I see a... a a resting area where somebody touched a hundred years old. Uh oh, this is nice. <coughs> oh, 
Oh, wow. I've never seen a mausoleum with a screen door. You got a screen door on your mausoleum? You got to be from the country. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The Duval family. So there's probably like one, two, maybe three people in here. Oh, that they got like all those wasps and bees flying in there. They got stuck in that screen. It is, it looks like a front porch. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool, family. But this is the headstone that caught my attention. What's this, the Carkiner? Carkiner? The Carkiner family? Family? Excuse me. Sinuses, y'all, got me out here bad. Yeah, somebody said the souls out here resting probably don't need internet, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's why it's so shoddy out here. This is cool. I like taking these little morning walks with y'all. It's a nice little breeze out here. I do think it's helping my sinuses though. It's clearing my nose up. For sure. We didn't walk this way yesterday. Cause right across this is like this wooded area. Like I wonder if anyone's buried back there. Probably not. Cause this seems to be like a well-maintained resting area. But it's just interesting how there's nothing over here. And it's like thousands of people right here. Verrett, I wish you was here too. I wish Ali was here with me. We could have a, we could do like a 5K. We could do a 5K in the cemetery, y'all. We should come to a cemetery like this and do a charity walk. <laughs> walk around all these acres and raise money for the cemeteries or something. I don't know. I'm just talking, y'all. I'm just talking. We used to do a, uh, in Atlanta, we used to do the AIDS walk. So every year, all the organizations across the city, whether it's your fraternity, your job, your school, your organization, we would all come together and we would do AIDS walk Atlanta and you raise money for HIV and AIDS awareness. And yeah, man, you walk like three or four miles <laughs> and it'd be like thousands of people walking around the city of Atlanta. It's kind of cool, it's kind of cool. Oh wow, this is interesting. Let me get, so y'all can see the whole thing. But we would have to find like a huge, huge cemetery like this one. This is Katie Foster, wife of Alex Foster, born in 1868, died 1908. <coughs> I wonder why they have like this wooden door. This is interesting. Y'all, what if we heard some knocking back? That would be insane. You can kind of see through the cracks in there a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Foster family, you guys have a beautiful home. 
like a little brick house. She's a brick house. She's mighty, mighty. Uh, 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 I like it out here, y'all. I'm so mad. The cemetery I really want to go to in Atlanta, that's the one where I got kicked out of it twice. <laughs> and I got kicked out of it twice. But it's similar to this one, but it's in Atlanta. But we can't go back, man. I don't like being told what to do. It makes me almost feel like, <laughs> see if I can get kicked out a third time. <laughs> But I just don't like being told not to come up in there, man. Like, who are you to tell us, the graveyard shifters, that we can't come talk to these people? Like, why would you be that much of a jerk? Like, that's what bothers me. Y'all, let's talk about it for a minute. That's what bothers me about what we do. Because you have the living trying to make decisions for the unliving. <laughs> like, who are you to tell me that says, I ain't got no family members over here. I can't come over here and spend time with these spirits. Like you look, you sound like a correctional officer. <laughs> That's what you sound like. Are you running a cemetery or are you running a prison? You feel me? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I ain't afraid to get kicked out a third time. I'm gonna get, I say, that's what we gonna do, y'all. <laughs> we gonna see if I can get kicked out a third time this week. I don't care. Look, this is gonna be the plan. This is the plan of action. This is the plan of action. This is what we gonna do. We're gonna go on find a grave, right? We're gonna find us a grave inside of that cemetery in Atlanta. And then when we go, if they come to us and try to kick us out, which they will, we're going to have all the information about our auntie or uncle that we just found on Find the Grave. And you're going to have to tell me that that's not my family member. That's what we're going to do, y'all. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to that cemetery this week. We're going to find us a family member and dare them to tell us that that ain't our family. <laughs> Cause that cemetery is too nice y'all <clears throat> and there's too many people in there resting that deserves a visit from the shifters and we're not gonna let a uh, uh, cemetery cop <laughs> cemetery security <laughs> stop us now if i get arrested and there ain't no videos for the next couple days y'all know why but seriously how, how how big could a trespassing charge <laughs> at a cemetery be. They let you out the same day for that, right? I think so. I think so. Yeah, we gonna do it y'all, we gonna, we gonna do it. Cause yeah, you not finna kick me out of cemetery two times and think I ain't finna come back for a third time. But now if we get kicked out a third time, y'all, we might need to go ahead and hang our bag up and just leave that cemetery alone. But we're going to try. We're going to for sure try. <coughs> Excuse me. Y'all got to go give me some medicine. I got to go give me some medicine. Look at that big dome over there. Let's go look at that one. Like, how much does that cost to make? I've never been over this side before. Never been on this side before. Oh, update, y'all. So everybody that was on the live when we were looking for the KKK member, everybody that was helping, everybody that assisted, all the shifters that was doing research and trying to guide me to the place and we just couldn't find it. 
you're fired. Everybody's fired. All of y'all are fired. Cause y'all had me going the wrong way. I went and looked at the video. Y'all, we was right there. <laughs> we were right there. We went left when we should have went right, y'all. We were right there. We was right by Buddy's grave, man. And y'all told me to go the other way. Y'all did. Yep, Steven, you fired. And you fired. Amy, you're fired. Karen, don't tell me to always go right. You're fired. Don, I don't even know if you logged on yesterday, but you're fired. Everybody's fired. Nah, Birdie, don't be laughing. Julia, you fired too. Everybody fired. Say, we need a whole new staff. <laughs> the graveyard shift is hiring. We had a mass layoff yesterday. <laughs> we had a mass layoff yesterday. Rachel Davison, you fired too. Don't be laughing. Everybody, Cheryl, you fired. All of y'all lost y'all job. Karen. Karen, no, nah, you can't pull no unemployment either. You been on there, but you just fired too, just in case. This is kind of cool. They got a globe on the top of theirs. Peace, love, family, and charity. Here we go. Henrich's, Henrich, Henrich, Intolerance. This is interesting. <laughs> Barrett, said, Barrett said, I missed. Why are we fired? Barrett, you might not be fired. Was you on the live the other day when we were searching for the KKK member? You still got a part-time job. But if you told me to go the wrong way, y'all on probation. Probation. But no, seriously, I found out where it is, guys. We were literally right there. Totally went the wrong way. But we were so close. I was so mad at myself when I went back and looked at that video. But also, I feel like, he, he, like the bush might have been overgrown. <coughs> oh, don't worry. We going back next. We going back uh, probably Monday. Probably going to go back Monday. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that I know where Buddy is. For sure. Oh, wow. This is nice. This is like a whole house. Oh, wow. No, truth be told, I ain't got to get no warning. This is an equal opportunity employment. <laughs> We ain't got no OSHA. We ain't got no HR department. We just fire people around here, guys. No, I'm just playing. I can never fire y'all. I can never fire y'all. Y'all keep me going. Y'all keep me going. Y'all are, what's it called? When y'all been working at a place for a long time, y'all are tenured, tenured. Y'all are tenured. <laughs> I can't even fire you if I wanted to, no. I put in too many hours. Y'all have put in too many hours. Huh. So it seems like the resting place is over here. Huh. It seems like they get. I don't know what I'm feeling. I don't feel bad. It just feels different over here, but not in a bad way. It just feels like it's just a different set of people. You remember how like yesterday we went to the Potter's Field? <coughs> yeah, this isn't the Potter's Field, but it just seems like it's just, oh, let me see some of the dates over here. This is section 30. Huh. 
He said, so their left is your right? Cool, that's what we gonna blame it on, y'all. That's what we gonna blame it on. Oh, this is nice. The Kennedy headstone. <clears throat> Casey, we're still in Tennessee. We, we're at where we were yesterday, just a different part of the, the cemetery. We're looking at a different part of the cemetery. <coughs> Golly, help me. Y'all, what does this mean? I've seen this on a lot of cemeteries. I mean, a lot of headstones. What is this, IHS? Dolores, I'm not going to fire you, Dolores. I'm not going to fire you. Yes, y'all, I'm fine. It's my allergies and sinuses. It kicking my butt this morning. I don't know what the problem is. When I leave here, I'm going to go to the drugstore. It's like I woke up with like a little sinus cough or something. My nose is stopped up. <sighs> allergies. It's out here tripping, y'all. What does IHS mean? Can somebody tell me? Oh, in his spirit. Thank y'all. Or in his service. You say yes, yeah. But do you think ghosts follow you home? Uh, to be honest, no. Okay. You know what? Let me sit down for a second. <laughs> Let's have a conversation, guys. I ain't talked to nobody about this because I don't be wanting to talk to nobody about it. But I'm going to talk to y'all about it. Let me find a little seat. Let me find some place I can sit down and talk to y'all in the shade. We're going to sit down on the Shanks. The Shanks family bench. Anytime somebody has a bench by their, by their resting area, I feel comfortable sitting. Because I feel like y'all wouldn't have it there if y'all didn't want to sit down. Oh, hold on, y'all. Give me a second. I can't breathe. Uh, uh. Okay. Woo. Feel better now. I had to open up my nasal passages. Okay. I'm going to talk to y'all about something. This is for real. I don't talk about it because I don't want to acknowledge it. But y'all ask. <clears throat> So y'all asked, do spirits ever follow me home? No. The long, the short answer is no. But because literally I pray before I come into every cemetery. I pray before I leave. I tell, I ask respectfully for the spirits to stay and not follow me home. Uh, I sage my house. My, me before I go home, I pray over, all of that, all of that, all of that. And before I started this, y'all, like I'm very religious and I know some of y'all aren't and that's okay. I don't judge nobody. You ain't gotta be a Christian to be a part of the graveyard shift family. You can be an atheist, you can be a non-believer, you can be a hot dog, it don't matter. We accept everybody because we're all just trying to figure it out. My personal beliefs, I am a Christian Raised in the church, believe in God, believe in heaven and hell, believe in angels, demons, spirit, all of that. That's my personal belief. So I always say, I believe that my, like my trust in God outweighs my fear of attachments. Like I feel like I can't walk in God, trust God, and still have like, I don't know, uncertainty or fear. Because that, that totally disregards my trust in God. So again, I just feel like God has my back in doing this. And I've told God a thousand times, like, I'm the type of person, like back in the day, like if I was dating somebody, like if I was, say I was dating a young lady, right? And I just felt like the relationship wasn't meant anymore, right? Or I'm curious, is this person the one for me? I used to pray this prayer literally from college up until I married Stacy. And the prayer would be, Lord, please take anyone out of my life that is not meant to be in my life. 
So this woman that I'm dating, if she's not meant for me, then please allow for us to separate like in a friendly manner. But just please, I don't want anyone in my life or me to be in anyone's life that we're not supposed to be. And y'all, every time I pray that prayer, me and that person would go our separate ways, like literally like two or three days later. Like this is all the time. So when me and Stacy got together, I used to pray that prayer all the time. I was like, man, Lord, if I ain't supposed to be with Stacy, man, like let her, like let us in peacefully. <laughs> and y'all, <laughs> Stacy never went nowhere. <laughs> like that's how I knew Stacy was the one for me. <clears throat> Just from praying that same prayer over and over again, like it worked every single time. Lord, please take anyone out of my life that's not supposed to be in my life. A couple days later, we would always break up or go our separate ways. Man, I prayed that prayer probably about 30 times on Stacy's ass. <laughs> and we always just got closer and closer and closer and closer. So, yeah, that's how I knew Stacy was the one for me. But I say all that to say, that's the type of trust that I have in God. And I feel like he protects me when doing these shifts. I also feel like the good in these cemeteries outweigh the bad. So it's almost like if I was to go to the hood but I got a homeboy from the hood. You know what I'm saying? So I'm good because he's good. That's honestly what it feels like in this cemetery. <laughs> and when I go to these cemeteries, it feels like I know somebody that is well respected, so nobody messes with me. Boom, I say all of that to say, no, I've never felt like anything has come inside my home. Listen to me, listen to me. I never felt like anything has came inside my home. Y'all, I ain't never told Stacy. I slipped up and told Stacy something one night and it freaked her out. And I swore to myself I would never do it again. So I hope she's not on here. When I'm outside, so I go into my garage at night all the time. And I open up the garage and I'm just sitting there. Like, it's just cool. They get a cool breeze. It's in the back of our like complex. It's just a cool place to sit out and relax. Y'all, it's been a few times. It's been a few times. It's been a few times where I've seen like dark shadows, like up against the property line. That's what's weird. It's like they won't step onto the property. It won't, they won't step on the property at all, but like literally on the property line. I've seen something like that maybe three or four times. Never on my property, but always on the property line. And I made a mistake and told Stacy one night. I was like, man, uh, I think she came out in the garage one night. And I was like, did you see that? And she was like, see what, Dalen? And I was like, oh, no, nah, that must have been a, a, a rabbit or something. Because I already saw in her face. I already saw in her face where she was going. I was like, oh, I don't know. That must have been like a rabbit or something. And she brought it up a couple weeks later. She was like, what did you see that night? I was like, uh, a rabbit? Maybe a rabbit? Maybe a rabbit? Nah, man. So, yeah, I really feel like there's a protection around my my domain. So even if spirits do try to sneak off, I feel like they I feel like they can't get past that. That barrier that God put up, because I ain't never felt like nothing was in my house. Nothing was on my property. But at the edge of the property, uh, you could for sure see a couple of a couple of something going on so talking about she knows now she might know but y'all don't tell stacy man because that's the last thing i need y'all stacy stacy's not like us stacy's not like us y'all stacy do not fool with nothing paranormal she's not interested in it she don't want to see it she's terrified of it she believes in it wholeheartedly. 
Like, this is just not her thing. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this not being her thing because it ain't for everybody. She's just terrified of it. She's terrified. Stacy's terrified of this stuff. <coughs> Which I get it. I get it. But, yeah. Nothing in the house. Nothing on the property. <coughs> but definitely around the property line. Okay, maybe one night this week, maybe I'll go live late at night one night and I'll put the camera up in the garage with me <laughs> so you can see the outside and y'all tell me what y'all see. <laughs> maybe I'll do that for like 15, 20 minutes this week. Late at night one night. We gonna do it like at midnight. Midnight. Set the, I'm gonna set the camera up facing outside from the garage. And y'all tell me if y'all see anything shaking and moving out there, man. It's why it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. So yeah, to answer your question, no, I don't feel like anything has followed me inside of my home. But I do. I'm not even gonna say that. But maybe, maybe these spirits are catching on to what we're doing, and the ones that need help are like, "Hey, where you going?" I just don't want them coming in my house, y'all. Oh, no, I ain't finna do no spirit box session or nothing at the house. I'm just gonna cut the camera on. Just see if y'all see what I see. <laughs> we ain't doing no spirit box session. Uh-uh, we don't open up none of them devices at the house. None of them at the house. We don't play them games. We don't play those games, y'all. But I, I seriously feel like God got my back. But I've told God a thousand times, like, I prayed this prayer... The same way I try to pray Stacy out my life. Well, I ain't trying to pray out my life, but just making sure she was supposed to be in my life and I was supposed to be in hers. I do the same thing about the graveyard shit. Like, I've had this prayer like 10 times. I was like, God, look. I don't know if what I'm doing is wrong or not of you. But I don't want to do anything that's against you. So if this is not of you, and if I'm going to be judged for this, in the afterlife then i don't want to do it and then so please just don't make it like don't allow me to do it you know what i'm saying like if i'm not supposed to do this then don't make it easy don't let the channel grow like i don't want i don't even know how to explain what i'm trying to say but my prayer to god is like if if i'm not supposed to be doing this then don't allow me to do it like i'm praying to you lord I'm telling you that I don't want to do anything that's against you. So if I am, please cause it to end. And I am okay with that. But every time I say that prayer, the family just grows and grows. The shifts grow. The channel gets bigger. We get more opportunities. Like, And I'm like, dang, well, maybe God is blessing this. Because why would God bless something that you you vividly express to him that if it's not of him, then to please take it away. You see what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Does that make sense, y'all? I know I'm just rambling, but these are thoughts that like, I really be dealing with and I don't really be talking to nobody about it because nobody really, nobody's out here doing what I'm doing like that. Like, I don't know anybody to, you know what I'm saying? And then everybody got their own perspective. Like, if I talk to my mom about it, she gonna give me her perspective coming as a pastor, which is cool. That's fair. But I feel like that's influenced your thought process, which is fair. If I talk to Stacy about it, she's just terrified of this stuff. So her, her perspective is gonna come from a place of fear, which is fair. <laughs> so it's just like, I don't know, man. I don't know, I'm just trying to figure this out. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm just trying to figure it out. So I'm saying it in front of y'all, all 500 of y'all, like if this is not, if, if what we're doing is wrong, Lord, please end it. <laughs> because I don't want to go to hell for doing the graveyard shifts. <laughs> like, that's just me being honest, y'all. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> I don't think it's worth a, a, a eternity <laughs> of damnation <laughs> to be shooting these videos. So that's my prayer. But every time I pray it, something big happens. We get featured on some blog. We get 
we get acknowledged by somebody we get 10,000 more subscribers we like all these great stuff starts happening so I don't know I feel like we'll be doing this righteous I feel like we'll be doing this righteous what you say somebody said don't you think that something big is God's sign that you should keep going yeah for sure for sure for sure a hundred percent and that's why i keep going that's why i keep doing this like i love doing this and i love y'all but y'all be seeing the comments and y'all i grew up reading the bible too my mom was a pastor so i know what the bible says about talking to the dead and ah da 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 like, i know all of that and i ain't saying that's wrong i ain't saying that the bible is wrong i just don't know <laughs> so yeah more little story your boy just ain't trying to go to hell y'all that's it that's it. I'm trying to be kicking it with y'all up there, man. I'm trying to be kicking it with the graveyard, Chef family. So, yeah, that's where we at, y'all. What y'all talking about? What y'all talking about in the comment section? Somebody says I'm not using it to my benefit. You're right. <coughs> it ain't like I'm out here asking the spirits for the lottery numbers. Now, if we thought that that was possible, I ain't gonna lie to you, I would. I'd be trying to hit them, them pick three every other week if that was possible. Do you think the spirits could give us the pick three lottery numbers? No, seriously. Do you think... Do you think I could pull out the spirit box and ask them to give me three numbers and then we go play the pick three? Or would I go to hell for that? Or is that what the Bible's talking about that I shouldn't be doing? <laughs> <coughs> Should I not be gambling with the spirits? <laughs> <coughs> uh, Y'all, that's God trying to chastise me. My bad, Lord. You're right. I ain't gonna ask the spirits for the pick three. Yep, greed is a sin. Greed is a sin. But is playing is playing the uh playing a scratch off? Is that greed? Is playing a scratch off considered greed? Look, y'all. All right. I'm not going to do it. But if y'all look up in a couple weeks and, and, and y'all see my lifestyle change, <laughs> please know that Mary Ellen might have gave me them numbers. <laughs> Mary Ellen might have hit them numbers for your boy. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. I don't know. I just want to sit down for a second in this shade and talk to y'all. All right, let's get back to it. Somebody said they'll give you numbers, but that don't mean you'll win. But what we do win, though, y'all? Y'all. If the spirits gave me three numbers and I hit the pick three, Y'all, I would share some of that money with y'all, y'all. I would share some of that money with y'all. I split about $30, $40 with all, with all 80000 of y'all. Y'all could split about $30, $40. <laughs> I would share it with y'all for sure. No, I'm just playing, y'all. We're not going to use the spirits to gamble. We're not going to do that, y'all. We're not going to do that. <laughs> right. Everybody gets a penny. <laughs> Let me wipe the hands off, y'all. Everybody gets a penny. Jennifer, you get a penny. Stacy, you get a penny. Andrea, you get a penny. 
So this is interesting. So over here, you start to see there's not as many headstones. <coughs> Excuse me. So those are just fields with just flowers. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, wow. Give it to charity. Wait a minute now. You want me to ask the spirits for the lotto numbers, go play the lotto, hit the lotto, and then give it all away? Whoo wee. Guys, I guess I got to, huh? Somebody said, I'm charity. It's allergies, y'all. Somebody said, are you sick? No, nah, it's allergies, man. These allergies are kicking my butt this morning. It literally just happened. It started this morning. I'm going to go get some, all of my little allergy medicine as soon as I leave here. Oh, wow, this is interesting. Kristen. Kristen says she need money for car repairs. Look, Kristen. If Mary Ellen give me these numbers, I got you. I got you. I'll fix your car, Kristen. I'll fix it for you. If we hit this lotto, <laughs> Kristen, we hit this lotto, we gonna buy you a new car. Now, it gotta be used. Can't be brand new, Kristen. Don't be out here trying to spend all my money. Oh, my, my uh, ill-gotten urns. <laughs> it amazes me how all these trees. Cat oh, oh, so now all y'all need a car. Y'all, I don't know what kind of car y'all gonna get splitting this $30 now. <laughs> y'all split this $30 I give y'all. I don't know how y'all gonna get a car now. It always amazes me when a tree falls, how it misses the majority of the graves that it falls over. So it looks like this tree hit this stone, but shoot, it didn't even move that stone. Sloniker, the Sloniker family holding it down right there. <coughs> Cheryl, you need a plane ticket? Look, Cheryl, we hit this lottery. I'm going to send a jet for you, Cheryl. We're going to send a jet for you. We're going to send a graveyard shift jet for you. So you can be first class to, to your grandbaby's wedding. Okay, where are we at, y'all? The pee pool. The pee pool. It's the pee pool family. The pee pool. That's cool. The Braddon family. The White family. The Tees family. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah, I like it out here, man. This is a peaceful walk. I appreciate y'all being out here with me this morning. Dang, we've been out here an hour? It don't even feel like an hour. It don't even feel like an hour. Let's start walking back towards the front. People, that's cool, right? <laughs> People. But I know he probably had some jokes on him growing up, boy. I had jokes with my last name being Sprat. I remember the teacher told me in the third grade in front of the class, Dalen splat on the wall. Say, man, <laughs> I was so mad <laughs> in the third grade. How dare you embarrass me in front of the classroom? Dalen, come here, Dalen. Dalen splat on the wall. Y'all, I was so mad. I was so mad, y'all. I was so mad. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that teacher was mean. Rusty Spar was his name. Mr. Rusty Spar. I will never forget. He was tall, he was skinny, and he taught math. Come on up here, Dalen. Splat on the wall. 
And all the kids start laughing at me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's funny. That's funny. But, yeah. He was a horrible teacher. Rusty Spar. <laughs> but, yeah. They're over here cleaning up, y'all. She said, look at you now, you're famous. And him? <laughs> Am I famous, y'all? I don't think so. I just think that uh, a lot more people might know me now. Definitely not, not famous at all. <laughs> at all. Like on the celebrity list, <laughs> you got like A through Z celebrities. I'm like in colors. <laughs> like I'm not even at letters, I'm in colors. I'm like a blue level celebrity. <laughs> I ain't even made it to the letters yet. But that's cool, man. But yeah, Rusty Spar. You evil, evil man. You evil, evil third grade math teacher. Y'all are famous to me. I be like, we're all on the same level here, guys. At all. Look at them over there. See, these are like the un the unknown heroes of the cemetery. These are the people that you don't see every day. These are the people, when it's all said and done, that's gonna be watching after you in the afterlife. Like those are the people that we thank. Thank y'all. For sure. Them the people you gotta thank, man. Them the people that's going to be looking after you a hundred years from now when you laying in your resting space. <coughs> cleaning up all the debris. This is the Boyer family mausoleum. Y'all, what you would do if we looked at one of these and a whole person was just looking back at us? Oh, you can't even really see in there like that. But it says Mary Boyer, 1869 to 1928. Y'all, I don't know what I would do. If I looked in one of them mausoleum and I saw a person looking back at me. Y'all, y'all might as well just leave me there. Y'all might as well just put me in the same mausoleum with them. We might as well go ahead and share it. Because I would pass away, y'all. I would pass away. Let's see. Right? No, I think that was, it said, why is there yellow tape in there? It looked like the little, uh, you know, like the, the yellow straps that you use to move big things like furniture. or It looks like one of those. So I don't know why it was in there. Maybe they had to move or readjust something in there. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all, this is cool. This is cool. All right, y'all. I did not mean to be on here for an hour, y'all. We was just trying to get a little morning walk in, get our steps. I hope y'all are, uh, let me clean my little camera. I hope y'all been taking y'all steps with me. I hope y'all been counting your steps. We got to stay healthy. We got to stay in shape, y'all. We got to stay healthy. Let's get those steps in, family. I need y'all here a long time with your boy. For sure. What'd it say? Daily's talking about having shifters on the channel. 
can't read this comment. It's light out here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm still working on that, y'all. See, the only thing that we're trying to figure out is to, just to try to eliminate issues like I have when I film out here. Like with the internet, it being blurry. So I'm just trying to work out the little kinks. But yeah, I'm going to start doing these remote shifts with y'all. I'm trying to see, is it better? Y'all tell me what y'all like. Which, what would y'all like more? For me to just like pick random shifters and allow them to go out and shift and edit their own stuff and we just air it on the channel? Or we do live shifts where we connect in with them. So what we can do, <coughs> I can be at my house on my computer and I can start a live chat, right? We can then bring in the remote shifter and then they can shift while we're at home. And like, I can tell them what questions to ask. I can assist with it. Like we can do it remotely. It's just gonna take a little bit of finessing because they have to have decent internet where they are because they could be running into the same situation like I'm running into if you don't have proper internet connection out here at these cemeteries. And a lot of these cemeteries don't have Wi-Fi like that. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm trying to figure it out. I'm just trying to work out the kinks. So that's where I am right now. Either just giving somebody the keys to the Jeep and letting them go fill and we just air it on the channel or we can remotely clock in with them and assist while they're doing it. But think about it, if we can do that, we can have people all over the country, shoot, all over the world shifting, and we can just tune in. Like how dope would it be to watch somebody in Ireland or Australia or the UK or Colombia or Iowa? <laughs> like that would be cool. So, that's what I'm working on, y'all. That's what I'm working on. So, we're going to try one soon. And it might be shaky. It might not work. So, just bear with me. But we got to try it. So, I'm going to try to find maybe two or three people. <coughs> they might be interested. There are so many Mary Ann's <coughs> out here. Every time I see a Mary, my mind goes straight to Mary Ellen. And I'm like, dang, what if we one day we just stumble up, stumble across our Mary Ellen? That would be interesting. No, I don't got to go to the doctor, y'all. I literally just got to take me some allergy medicine. I just don't have any. I didn't stop by the store this morning. Once I take this medicine, my nose is going to clear up and this little cough is going to stop. It happened last week too. So people don't even realize I'm allergic to my dogs. I'm allergic to Tito and Taco. So like if I get too close to them, like I can pet them and rub them and all that, but I have to immediately wash my hands. Axel is too, Axel's allergic too. So like if I get in their face, I start coughing, my nose shuts down, my eyes swell up. I can't like, it gets horrible horrible so it's like the same little feeling that i'm having now so i just got to take my allergy medicine y'all oh <gasps> y'all look at that can y'all see that wait 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 can y'all see that i can't it's too light over here oh wait they have a wooden plank over this mausoleum you can kind of see the grave in there because it's open i don't know if y'all can see that can y'all see that no it's not you can see the you can see the casket in there you can see the casket in there y'all probably can't but i can that is wild oh wow whoever's resting here I pray that you're resting well. I pray that you're resting well, Carson family. I hate that somebody didn't place the marble back over your opening. Yama. Yeah, 
if can someone okay if if you are in here can you make a tapping sound somebody said they saw movement oh wow that's wild you can literally see the casket on the inside in there That's intense. That's intense. You know what I find interesting? So I have, I have a lot of tattoos, right? I have a lot of tattoos. Like I'm covered, literally, tattoos everywhere. Like tattoos are everywhere. Uh, but I have a, the majority of my tattoos are like angels and birds, like stuff like that. And I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, I have all these angels tattooed on me and they're all in like the vein of this angel. But I was like, what if angels don't even look like that in, in real life? <laughs> what if angels don't even look like that in real life? That would be crazy, right? You know how like Americans, they'll go get uh, Asian Asian words, Asian symbols tattooed on them and they don't speak Mandarin or, or, or Korean or Japanese. They don't speak none of that and you don't know what it says. <laughs> I was like, dang, what if, what if that's like my version of that? Like I got this angel tattooed on me and, they don't, and angels don't even look like that. What if I get to heaven and I'm like, no, 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 look, 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 it's you, this is you. What if angels are like dogs? What if they're like, what if they're moths? What if they're butterflies? <laughs> My point is, what if they don't look nothing like we have pictured them to look? <laughs> that would be crazy. I don't know. I don't know. That's just interesting. To, like who... Who designated, like, this is what angels look like? So they said angels are made in the, in the image of man? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. But what if they aren't? <laughs> That's interesting. It said, eyes with wings are angels. <coughs> like two big eyes with wings on it? That's wild. If that's what angels look like, that's wild. Flying, eye, flying eyeballs with wings? Sheesh. Sheesh. Uh-oh. This man, he out here doing what we doing. Y'all see Buddy over there? He getting his steps in. Uh-oh. Y'all think he waiting on us? Y'all, what if he was a ghost? What if dude is a ghost? What if that was like a full-blown full body apparition <laughs> oh yeah my gun tattoo yeah people keep asking about that my tattoo my gun tattoo and then my necklace the two pistols on my necklace so i came up with this brand back in when i was in college literally like almost 20 years ago and it's called pistol p-i-s-t-o-l people inspiring style throughout others lives so it was just like a collective of just stylish people they kind of just move to the beat of their own drum and try to inspire style and fashion amongst others. And then it kind of just took on a meaning. So my tattoo on my arm, I have, let me show y'all. I have, can y'all see that? Is it dark? I can't even see. I have two pistols on there. And then I have like three angels 
or doves, angels on my arm. So all of my tattoos are, I don't know. I have angels, stars. It's all about like, to me, I get all of my tattoos just signify my belief and my faith and what means the most to me. So I'm starting a sleeve on my arm. I got the two pistols, so P-I-S-T-O-L, people inspire style throughout others' lives. Then I have the doves and the angels on this side. So my whole arm, the meaning behind it is by faith or by force. That's kind of like how I live my life. The Bible says faith without works is dead. So what that means is you got to pray to God, believe that he's going to do his part, but you got to do your part too. So you can't sit up here and be praying to go to the NBA, make it to the NFL, make it to the to the big leagues, but you don't practice. <laughs> you feel me? You got to practice. You got to do your part. So that's what my arm signifies, by faith and by force. The angels and the doves are the representation of faith. The two guns are representation of by force. Me doing my part and God doing his. So yeah. That's just what my tattoos mean to me, guys. So yeah, people always ask. So pistol, P-I-S-T-O-L, people inspire style throughout others' lives. And it has the two revolvers pointing outwards as if they are wings. Booyah! That's it. That's it. Hit that like button. Hit that like button, family. Oh no, we got likes. We got like 500 likes over here, y'all. This must not have been updated yet. Y'all, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all this last, this last little uh, mausoleum. Then I'm gonna get up out of here, y'all. So I go give me some medicine. But I think this is kind of cool. It's a little walk, so y'all walk with me. <coughs> but I'm gonna check back in with y'all tomorrow. And let y'all know that I'm feeling better. And then I get back to Atlanta tomorrow. So we'll probably do... I mean, to be honest... If I get home tomorrow, like around 5... I might try to go find the KKK dude again tomorrow. Because I know exactly where he is now. And I kind of want to do that spirit box session. Now, here's the question. Do y'all want me to do the spirit box session with the KKK dude live? Or do y'all want me just to record it on my own so I can go back and do the editing and put the words on the screen so y'all can make it a little bit easier for my shifters? What y'all want me to do? Some say do it live. Oh, y'all, I'm already prepared for him to be verbally abusive. I'm already prepared for him to call me the N-word. I'm prepared to be a slave. I'm prepared. All of that stuff, I'm already prepared for that. We ain't even gonna trip off that. We ain't even gonna get at no energy. But we already know the type of time that that man was on. Like the last time we was over there, I got sick. So we already know what type of time he's on. Oh, y'all wanna see me do it live? But the thing is, y'all be complaining like y'all can't understand what the box is saying. <clears throat> so, maybe what I'll do is, <coughs> I'll go live, and then uh, once I find him and all that, and once we do a little bit, I'll cut the camera off and then I will record the session. Hey, let me tell y'all something real quick. Y'all see all this space? Y'all see all this space? Like there's no graves anywhere over here. It's all this open land in this cemetery, right? So I was talking to the people that own this cemetery and they was just like, people don't even realize like we have hundreds and hundreds of acres of land still open for people to be buried in. But I don't know if people know that, you know, this cemetery has that much space. So they were like, they're trying to find different ways to market this cemetery, you know, so people can start back burying people here. But they have 
all this open space over here, y'all. All of this open space. Y'all, I got some ideas for this cemetery. I got some ideas. I don't even want to tell y'all, because somebody might be in this comments, and y'all might move faster than I can move, and y'all might try to steal my idea. But just know, your boy got some ideas. Your boy got some ideas. All right, this is what I wanted to show y'all. This is what I want to show y'all. I think these are interesting. These mausoleums that are built into the hill. I don't know why, but every time I pass by these, like this is kind of what I picture Jesus was in when he resurrected. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? And they said they put, it was like a cave almost, and they had a rock in front of it. In my mind, I see it as like built into like a hill like that. But that's cool though. So literally, like they dug into this hill, the side of this hill, and they built the mausoleum in there. Eighteen sixty one. You telling me in eighteen sixty one y'all built that into that into that mountain and built that? Like that's so cool. Eighteen sixty one. We are in twenty twenty three. Look at this. I wonder how many people are resting in there. Natural cooling for the bodies. <coughs> yeah. All right, y'all. So that's the plan. The plan of action is to get home tomorrow and going to find Ben. Oh, almost fell. <laughs> ben Camp. Y'all, I'm trying to walk down this hill <laughs> to get to the front of this, the resting community. So, yeah, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. That's either going to be tomorrow or Monday. Where we go find... Uh, Y'all... <laughs> That's the second time I done slipped going down this hill. There ain't no graves over here, y'all. So, this is just... Yeah, it's okay to walk through here. <laughs> Yes, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to have a good, a good, 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 good spirit box session this week. But look, the energy that we're going to have with the dude from the KKK, we're not going to come at him like, hey, it ain't our job to judge. I, to be honest, I don't really care what that man beliefs was in his life. That's between him and whatever God he believe in or don't believe in. But I do want to see if that energy carries over into the afterlife. We're still going to be respectful because we don't we don't treat others how we're treated. But we are definitely going to ask questions like I want to know. Do you have any regrets for living a life full of hate? Were you judged in the afterlife for having that hate? Like for you to be a KKK member and have that engraved on your tombstone? You felt that sh that shift. <laughs> and you felt you meant that shift. <laughs> so I want to get down to the bottom of it. I want to know. So y'all let me know what questions y'all have. What questions do y'all want me to ask Ben Camp, the man that was in the KKK that seemingly tried to attack us months ago? Let me know what questions you have. Write them in the comment section, y'all. <coughs> I am about to go to the drugstore. Give me some more nasal medication. Some allergy medicine. Uh-oh. Who is that? Is that the security? Is that the security? Is that security? 
Metro Police. The Metro Police. Uh oh. Let me get on up out of here, y'all. Let me go ahead and get on up out of here, y'all. But no, love, love, love. Let me go get this medicine. Say, I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow. We're gonna do some spirit boxing tomorrow when I get to Atlanta, for sure. I'm jonesing. I'm missing it. I'm missing it, y'all. I'm missing it. Where'd that police officer go? Got to be careful, man. We out here in Tennessee now. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. I'm going to go get my medicine. And I'm going to go take Stacy to lunch. <laughs> love, 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 love. Oh, wait, I'm going I'm to we gonna wait to this police officer. Before this police officer pull off, y'all. <laughs> Just in case I need some eyewitnesses. <laughs> Just in case. Y'all know we be getting kicked out of places like this all the time, y'all. All right, we good, we good. How's it going, brother? All right, y'all, love, love, love. Catch y'all on the flip side. Catch y'all tomorrow.